At an early age, I think I developed this interest in architecture and specifically in the hidden narratives that the architecture can have, but also the experiential aspect of being in architectonic spaces. And that has been present and explored in my work in different ways. I have an ongoing extensive body of work on Brasilia, but I've been based in Los Angeles for the past decade, roughly. And I developed an interest in um, what is called the Mayan revival architectonic style that happened in the 1920s um, in the US. Frank Lloyd Wright specifically uh, had a period where he lived in California and developed this four houses that are called textile block houses. But since he's such an important figure in modern architecture in the US, I feel that these houses are uh, the acknowledge of the influence of Mayan ancient architecture in, in his this specific work is very overlooked because there are many other ways to discuss his work and that's uh, usually uh, privileged given how big of a figure he is. I worked with some um, Mayan scholars who helped me to uh, understand better the uh, archaeological references that are transformed into Frank Lloyd Wright uh, architecture. When I got to the uh, to the sound for this piece, I didn't have a budget to do it, and but I had an idea that that I wanted to use pre-Columbian uh, wind instruments uh, and instruments that are in museum collections to create a contemporary music score that could then be the score of the film. I approached a few institutions and saw if I could borrow the instruments and I was told that actually there was a possibility of borrowing the instruments that I wouldn't be able to play because of manipulating and blowing into and having saliva and things that could um, uh, damage those objects. And then if you think about this pre-Columbian uh, instruments, they are musical instruments, they are meant to be played, but then they are in institutions that keep them as dead instruments, right? And in the process of doing this, I was put in touch with an archaeologist called Jared Katz, who is currently at the Denver Art Museum, and his research is all about scanning uh, uh, pre-Columbian instruments and making them available to be played. These are 3D scanned and 3D printed replicas of um, flutes and the uh, pre-Columbian flutes. So they, I, I try to be uh, as faithful to the sizes that they have, the original ones have, as possible. But they are in and of themselves translations already. So there is a lot of recreation and translation in the process of making this flute. So in uh, this process of uh, doing this, I became really interested in finding a cinematography that would uh, embody, for lack of a better word, how wind travels through space in the same way that wind is what you blow into these instruments to create sound. There are specific textures in these instruments that I think also relate to the textures of these houses. And what Jeremy and I uh, started doing here in this uh, residency is to figure out how to create a cinematography that can combine texture, architectonic textures, for example, that you find here in the concert hall that are all to amplify and help to distribute sound in space for a better acoustic and filming the the flutes in a certain ways that they also become architectonic spaces because when you think about all the resonance chambers inside the flutes they are like tiny concert halls or, or tiny rooms or and create like this spatial relationship uh, between them here we um we were kind of, we've been experimenting and playing with different ways to capture this. And one of the ways, which is this is sort of a new toy here at MPAC, is with this um, special lens that um, allows us to get really uh, macro shots of objects.
Michel is the composer, and uh, um, it was very interesting for me to work with her to understand the, the sounds that the flutes can create. This project was so interesting for me because there is a, a totally new method to construct the instruments, not working with copies made by instrument maker. It's about scanning instruments, uh, doing 3D printing. And, all, and this is very new, I don't know, it's a new world. We're trying to discover it. It was a good surprise because we found scales uh, like of uh, three, four, five notes, some of them kind of exotic scales, like pentatonic, minor pentatonics. She used the sentence that I love and I have to quote as an introduction to her work. She said like, oh, the music is actually in the flute. We just have to find it. That it's really learning how you can play and which sounds you can get from each one of them because they don't have this precision of like a, a modern instrument.